Houston area Acura dealers for attractive offers on the TLX. These were our colleagues and our friends who died in the line of duty. Tough times come, they always will. And when they do, Conrad, I want you by my side. Tuesday, January 12th on Fox 26. Welcome back. The coronavirus vaccine may be here, but many cities say that they are far from turning the corner as cases rise. Several businesses are trying innovative ways to curb the virus. Fox's Madeline Rivera joining us live covering the story. And Maddie, Happy New Year to you. And you know, some say that the drones play a crucial role in the fight against COVID-19. Happy New Year, Rashi. Well, that's what some companies are hoping to see, whether it's UPS using drones to deliver a personal protective equipment or Walmart using drones to provide COVID-19 test kits. But some industry experts say there are still some obstacles that need to be overcome. Imagine skipping this line and having a COVID-19 nasal swab test kit sent to your home by a drone instead. That's the reality that Walmart, Quasi Agnostics, and drone services provider DroneUp are hoping to achieve with a new pilot program. There's always been a, a clear uh, desire to uh, investigate and better understand how we could use drones. As COVID-19 cases rise, many municipalities and healthcare workers are looking for ways to curb the spread. North Las Vegas was the site of the program's launch with more locations in El Paso. Paso, Texas, and Cheektowaga, New York. Advocates say the deliveries are faster than traditional mail and make testing more convenient. It allowed people who had potentially been exposed to the coronavirus to stay home and quickly receive a self-test kit. Drone startup Flirty and Vault Health are doing the same in Reno, dropping off COVID-19 saliva tests. Still, industry experts say hurdles remain. One of the biggest questions regarding delivery of anything, how do you deliver a material with a drone over people safely? Drone Up says right now patients must be within a one mile radius of a participating Walmart because of technological and regulatory limitations. They hope the data from this program will help them overcome those challenges and make widespread deliveries a reality. And they see it being done for a good cause, not just for a marketing gimmick or delivering, you know, uh, a fast food item just to show that we can do it, but delivering something that has true impact uh, and value. Walmart's pilot program lasts about six weeks. Drone Up says they'll then share what they've learned with the aviation industry, including the FAA. Malin Avera, Fox 26 News.